Greetings. Welcome back to the Hand of Fate. Let's start. Okay. Now we play. Game. You can now access endless mode if you wish to test your skills against chance itself. Some men thrive in anarchy and chaos. The King of Dust is one such. His tools are cruelty and terror, and I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. Think so? I think we're gonna do just fine. If I'm able to remove some of my cards, like Field of Puppies. Okay, I think we're ready. In these lands, the King of Dust takes his tithe of all. You face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. Ooh. You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen combat recently. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village in Ember Town. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you will find those jackals and make them pay. Oh no. Lost one counter there. Let's find out what type of character you really are. You have caught up with the Emberton village traders who call out Stay your hand, adventurer, and we will share the spoils with you. Yeah. You tell them to ask their gods for more mercy than you are about to show them. Carefully turn out of the thief's pockets. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I am. Afterwards, you return to tell the hero of Embertown of your success. He gestures for you to come closer. In silence, he hands you a jeweled ring, then dies. You put the ring away to identify later and bury the fallen champion. Here, take it. I will never receive this ring. It amuses me to watch them fear. No! To attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. Do you understand how this game works now? Yeah. Do you comprehend the stakes? You return to the landlocked labor and find it somehow even emptier than before. Carlo is entertained by the story of your time in Norwich. You explained that you were told you'll need a high binder to find the missing ships. Carlo laughs. It's not a high binder, it's the high binder. He's a broker of information. If he knows anything about the missing boats, then he'll tell us if we can pay his price. I'll contribute what I can toward the high binder, but as you can see, the tavern business hasn't made me a rich man. He'll accept any currency. But we'll have to provide enough to make it worth his while. Alright then, I'll send word along with our payment, and the high binder will set a meet. Wait, I paid 20. Oh my. Oh. A treasure chest? What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? 
While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of the hall. The chest may hold the great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. A choice. Select your desire. You move forward carefully, but suddenly you hear a click. The room begins to fill with a deadly gas. Ooh. No. You dive through a billowing clouds to reach the other side safely. You approach the treasure chest. I will happily wager on the outcome. The treasure you chest think you have what it takes. Of course. The treasure chest looks battered but still intact. What treasure may it hold? It. The treasure chest stubbornly refuses to give way to your attempt. You leave disappointed. I needed that. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. I know. Oh come on! I don't have any money. The bandits are sorely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. Yeah. Neither will starvation. Okay. Thank you. Now, please let me loot your dead bones. Food is crucial for healing. If you travel without food, your strength will not be restored between encounters. You'll also begin to starve. It seems you'll learn that soon enough, though. I already learned that. Excellent way to turn an injury into yes. a hurt. Okay, now we can Our meet. Our hero needs sustenance badly. Tinker, Tinker. Okay, show me you wears berserker armor. And some food. <laughs> More food. Yep. We'll make it the Till the end of this floor, at you least. You have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. Okay, I'm fine with that. Really. Thank you. While searching the area for anything more salvaging, yes, I realize one of them is still alive. Mm. Really? No. I cannot expect you to get by without some Thank you. I really like the ambush card. Really. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. 
When you return to the mag and, the, and the barrel, you spot the huntsman working in a shadowy corner of the bar. A solitary worm ale sits cooling in front of an empty chair, while a collection of empty mugs indicates that your arrival has been long awaited. I started without you, he says, truly, but without looking up. I've got questions for you, and you have questions for me. Questions lead to stories, stories lead to memories, and I cannot bear those without a lot of these. He rakes his mug across the others on the table, producing a discordant chime. Sit down, you make me look impolite. Given that you've already traced me through forest and glen, I see that trying to dissuade you from this hunt would be pointless. I know how you feel. I was a boy of five when I first saw old Whitey. Sorry, that's what we, I call him. The white minotaur. The huntsman proceeds to tell you a tale of destruction. The game of eternity that we play. I didn't think that meant you'd take forever to make a decision, mind. Hush. The huntsman proceeds to tell you a tale of destruction and grief, a tale decades in the making. After a while, he lapses into silence, like a river that has run dry. I think I was tracing it when you stumbled into my trap. Head back into the forest and see what you can find. I've got business to attend to elsewhere. That wasn't so hard. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Yeah. There's a token in it for you if you win. While sleeping in at, an, at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit riffling through your belongings. You are quick to your feet, weapon ready in hand. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? That's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching some apple and some coins. You grab his arm and protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nancy here was a fight. The bandit laughs again. Spit at your feet and turns to leave. Okay. The bandit looks at you with contempt. Thought so. He wanders out of the room, wrestling tunelessly to himself. Ouch. Shaking your head, you wearily turn back to your bed and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Its eyes. So familiar, so real compared to its shifting body, smile into yours. Something stirs in your mind. A past memory? You are still yourself. I need fear no longer. Its pale hands reach for yours and you suddenly recall a laugh. A laugh to go with those smiling eyes. I have lingered too long in this place. It trains so. Not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes. Gone. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Really? You begin to see the nature of the questions we will ask. Do we look to the past or to the future? Is your decision predetermined or made in the moment? Oh, good then. You recover what you can find. Uh, what you can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. There's no strength like hidden strength. I would rather take the fire in its multitudinous forms. We still hold it in esteem and wonder. I have no need for priest. Oh, that's not the end yet. Press on. 
It seems you have made an enemy of the rat men. Mm. They do not normally attack unless provoked. Really? Well, that sounds like rats. Yes. Come here. And a burn. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, I think. I'm here. Whoa. Okay. That wasn't half bad. If I do say so. And we found something. Something. Thank you. You. Win this and claim my token. Yes. I will give you five food. What do you say? The priest exclaims and draws out a tarnished old ring. I'll have the kids polish it up first. In the meantime, take my blessing. I mean, just give me the ring, I can polish I it myself. Really? I'll have to rebalance that next time. This tale begins and then proceeds relentlessly. With each step, you will discover a new card and a deeper mystery. While walking by a huge tree at the edge of the lake, Mr. Lionel's head appears from the leaves above. Excellent work, my lad, Mr. Lionel declares, sighting the lock of elven hair and leaping to the ground. Didn't you have to break too many bones getting this, I trust? Never mind, this I don't know, eh? Then he calibrates the device, turning it over in his hands. This bit turns like this, this not pushes in here, not sure what this fiddly bit here does. It's working! Lionel gasps with glee as the amulet begins to glow. By waving the amulet around in the air, the goblin somehow contrives to lead you uh, on a haphazard journey over hills and across rivers, until finally you come to a trapdoor hidden by foliage under an ancient tree. Through the doorway you see a stone chamber and hear a variety of strange mechanical noises. There may be some traps, kings can never be too careful when guarding their treasure, hmm? I'm sure I mentioned them earlier. Now, get in there and steal 50 gold pieces for me. I'll hold you gold until you get out, and meet you on the other side. Good luck! With a firm boot to your backside, Lionel sends you tumbling through the trapdoor. Oh well... Okay. Oh wait. You do your stuff. Don't mind me. Come on. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Perfect. Oh no. Really? Really? Stop it. Oh, there was a third one anyway. There's not enough gold, I guess. Master Leonel immediately greets you upon your escape, lifting your bag of gold before you even realize he is there. He counts on the coins you managed to retrieve. Mm. Not nearly enough, I want my revenge. Get back in there and get me my gold. Okay. Oh. I healed. So that's fine. 
sorry. Okay. One. Okay. There's nothing here. It's empty. Okay. Is there some new gold here? That was lucky. Oh, I hate this. Okay. I think we still won't have enough. What's this minus six? Not nearly enough here. Yeah. Hopefully this time we will get it. No! Okay. Still not enough all. God damn it. Okay, let's go back once again. How much more do we need? Really? We finally meant to get out of here. I think so. Why there's minus something always? God damn it! Okay. And there's more and more traps each time. Whoa! That was bad. Okay, that has to be enough. Okay, I... I definitely dodge animations, but once I got hit, please let me out of here. Not bad, not bad, oh, he says happily. I'll eat this later. For now, good work, my boy. Let's get out of here before the Goblin King discovers what's what. Oh god damn it. Of course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. Really? I thought it would stop them. No, rats are are not really brave. They would scatter. Without any so without someone to guide them. Really?
Ah, it appeared by the poison. Thank you. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Oh my goodness. On this floor, the King of Dust waits for you. He is prepared. Are you? The devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Greetings, mortal. If you can defeat my minions without taking scratch, to keep you on your toes. I reward you with gold and magical trinkets. Okay. Excellent, the devil cries with glee. It points at you with a crooked finger, saying, Let's see you prove it. You said you could do it without a scratch, but I will be generous and leave you out to more than that. Okay. I'll try. But can we change the gold for food? Oh! Right of the bat, I screwed that. I'm glad I wasn't in line. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Hmm, you're not dead. That is unexpected. The devil waves his hand, partially healing you. It then disappears, leaving behind some loot. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Attack. The novelty must wear thin on subsequent travels. Yes. The king falls without a challenge. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Away. Thank you. Let's try killing him again. I don't know what happens if you <laughs> fail that. Armor that gives you the proportional strength and power of a barbarian, which mm. you are on closer examination. Really? Oh. At its heart, these traveling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. One day, just as dust gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now are faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazement seeming almost days. There is something about the place that dulls your senses and, for a while you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place.
Choose from these options. Cheers and gasp draw you to a large tent. Inside, you discover a number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. A strong man offers a magical item as a prize for anyone who can list even half of what he can. You take the challenge and, after a brief but intense effort, accept the prize. Poison. It's the tool hmm. of the traitor. Yeah, I would like it. You. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest. The sounds of the crowds behind you. There is just dawning. But which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. A crucible to heat and purify the flawed metal. You, the... in this case. Okay. The town of Stigal sits upon the only safe crossing of the river Ernst. However, the only adventurers allowed to cross do are those who pass through the crucible. In the crucible you fight monsters for the entertainment of the townspeople of Stigal. What will you do? I'll enter. Choose your opponent wisely, yells a man from the crowd. I'm betting on you. This one. You meet the Jack again. Okay. Did you think him done before? I thought... No. no. Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top, as are we all. No, I don't really mind fighting with him, it's only four of them. Okay, that's good. No, run away! Oh, you got them. You've got to be kidding me. Where's my poison? Why won't you die? Thank you. You survived that round. Now do it again. <laughs> seriously? I'm fine with that. But seriously? well wait why did I lose gold after surviving the crucible you're paraded through the town and allowed to continue upon your adventure a few random peasants throw coins saying you've made me rich warrior okay thank you thank you thank you and thank you <laughs> it is yours you can take it okay I will These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Okay. I don't mind, really. No, I want to use it here. Thank you. 
this seal is very effective and I lost my... Okay, I need to check what's causing that. After the battle, you search the bodies for loot. Really? No! To work with. Much good meat, do you? As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of ancient temple on another nearby hilltop. You can always review your cards here. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Now I see idols. Wait, so each time starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Occasionally losing his place and moving different coins around randomly, he attempts to count the gold you place in front of him. This carries on a while for before he quite calmly and deliberately swallows each of the coins one by one. Now, let's see what I have for you. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the book his hand. Ah, uh -huh, I know what you need! Yeah, the Salerno pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it open for you. Reach in and get, and you will receive my heart's desire. Your heart's desire. <laughs> Sorry. A small aid to navigation, but still. Very few are so foolish as to deliver themselves to the king. You don't think it's foolish? Well, I guess so. I hit him! Or at least I tried to dodge. Whoa! Right. Just die already. Oh, thank you. There are many who will be pleased that you have defeated the likes of my lesser. Really? As for me, I think you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely. You can try. I new trinkets for you. You will need them and more. Oh. I have a charity card. Next time. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.